we're gonna eat for free with you, are we? We're all gonna eat for free with you, though, are we? <laughs> Downtown. First stop is Main Street Station, and then we'll be heading over to the California. So we're going to do a bit of a run around downtown. We're starting in here, California, down to the Grand, down to El Cortez, and then up Fremont Street. Let's see what happens. So we just walked into uh, Main Street Station. Check out these very old slot machines. You're not going to get many bonuses on them. So first things first. I'm down in the 777 bar. And we've gone for a high roll of gold. And to be honest with you, at two dollars, it'd be rude not to. Yeah, so we've just been in the Main Street station, uh, head across the street to California. Have a bit of a gamble, see what happens in a bit. You can't find these three reeled ones very much lately, but uh, we do try and play them if we can find them. I'll come back if I get a bonus. Top one, please. Ready. Bloody barn is missus for a change. I'm supposed to look like a lodge member, not Gina Lodabricks. <laughs> oh, it's the wheel. We, they represent multipliers and we've only got the one. Oh no, he's going to give us two. Five times. Give me the ten. Absolutely dreadful. <laughs> Well, that's it, I've broke the bank. Here we go again, next spin. If it's all like last one, it'll be abs- Oh, not again. Seriously, Betty. I need three hats. One. Oh, absolutely ridiculous. He's giving me an extra one. Feeling sorry for me, obviously. That's five times. I think you get ten times if you get three. Give me the ten. Give me the ten. Oh. Oh, come on. That's it. Yes, $50. I'll take it. Thank God. It's better than the bloody $4. Cheers, Dean, old lad. <laughs> that's it, nice one. Down to my last $2.70, so cashing out at $52.70. Just leaving California. Twenty dollars up. And there's Fremont Street over there. You see the canopy in front. But we're going to walk down Ogden Avenue. Because we're heading for the downtown Grand. I'll see you down there. Yeah, but 
pajama bonus. Oh, here we go, shade across straight over. <laughs> Get it up. Front row, please. Oh, yeah, I'll do. And again. Oh, never. That's not going to be big at all. And now for the one of Buffalo handshake. 11.60. We're just leaving the Grand. Just dropped, four, what, what did I drop? Four sevens? Yeah. Yeah, it's just dropped four sevens on video poker. Only an $80 hit because it went on double double bonus. So it's not one of the bigger ones, but still 70 up. And now we're heading for El Cortez. So here we are, El Cortez. One of the oldest uh, casinos in Vegas, this one. Down the bottom end of Fremont. Have a little gamble in here. I'm actually up by 70, so let's see what Elko's got to offer us. So we're in Elko, and check out this Cadillac, 1948. Absolutely stunning. My dad's gonna love this one. Big fan of old cars is my dad, so he's definitely gonna like this. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. All the old coin machines. You can hear the slots. Check those out. Grab a cup. Grab your quarters. Listen to that. You don't see any of that on the strip. So right next door to Griffin, there's a little place called the Smashed Pig. Where we're gonna go for a bite to eat. Okay, so we just finished eating dinner at the Smash Pig, and I've had another burger, of course. That's three on trot. I think I, I think I need to take it easy on burgers to be quite honest with you, but really nice though, really nice. Uh, recommend that place. A couple of meals, Shepherd's Pie for Claire Burger for me, a couple of drinks. $38, not our way. But yeah, check it out, it's only a small place. And now, we're heading on to Fremont. So we'll probably hit the D first, and then we'll uh, head up to, so we'll probably finish in Plaza. A bit more gambling and a few more beers, see how it goes. And I know I've been eating a few burgers, but I certainly won't be trying that one. You can keep that. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Right, here we are on Fremont. Just heading up the escalator to Vintage Vegas. Some old slot machines in here. And then we'll go down into the main casino at D. Uh, just letting on. I lost just 20 in Elko. So after that and dinner, I'm running about even. Or maybe just a little bit over actually. So I'm still up by a little. Not doing too bad. So we're getting in D. Come on, El Vera. <laughs> big number, big. Hey, uh, my eyes are up here. Twelve dollar hit. Nothing major. There she is again. 
Minx. <laughs> well, I'm getting kind of dizzy. <laughs> big numbers, big multipliers, like, oh, Jesus. Is it What's good that, for you, darling? Wow, what a huge win you have. Prize win Monopoly mad in four queens. Mystery prize, million dollars, let's go. Come on, Claire. Claire, Claire and her Budweiser. She's loving it. Brilliant, you've won 50 cents. How about that? Story of my life. <laughs> Story of your life. Nugget and the tanks. Pretty popular pool here. And check that out. And I've never noticed before actually. It's actually got tables in the pool area. If you want to have a gamble, you can have a gamble in your swimwear. All oh, the lights are on down on Fremont. Just come out of the nugget. Poor old Vegas Vic, been left in dark. It's getting on a bit now. One of the oldest signs in Vegas. So we started way over there at Main Street. We've done a full loop and mind my shaky hand cam. Finishing at the plaza. So we've just come from over at Fremont. And since we went to eat, the gambling's gone from good to absolutely terrible. <laughs> We're both down now. We're going to finish in Plaza and then we'll be moving back down to... I don't know yet, we'll see. So we've left Plaza. It was going well until we went for dinner. And then it's gone all wrong. <laughs> I were 100 up, but since then I've lost 200, so I'm, uh, I'm 100 down. Claire's 200 down. Uh, so she's back in familiar territory, <laughs> losing. So we're back here at Circus Circus, keeping it old school. And that is the best sign in Vegas, in my opinion. Lucky the clown. It was built in 1976, so it's just as old as Claire. <laughs> She'll probably kill me for saying that. Real neon. So we're gonna head inside. I can hear everybody saying, what are you going to circus for? But yeah, we're gonna get a try. We usually have a bit of luck in here, actually, so we're gonna get inside, get some slots going. But if we keep losing, it's gonna be an early bath, I'm afraid. often you see this these days uh, a car on top of slot machines that you can win on jackpot uh, first time I came to Vegas you used to see this in like every casino but I suppose it's just places like circus now <laughs> but odds of getting that are gonna be extremely slim so Claire's luck might have changed in circus and she's uh, got a bonus on her old favorite Alice Still got four picks remaining. Can't finish yet. Pick a mirror. You want the respin? Uh, oh, does it not do it on that one? There's two different ones. This is the enchanted mirror, and there's a there's a mad tea party and an enchanted mirror, and they both work a little bit differently. Uh, whatever you hit, it disappears and no symbols drop in. 
Reminds me a bit of Da Vinci Diamonds, actually. And that's dreadful. What are you want for? Four dollars ten. Four dollars ten. Don't break the bank. Just don't spend that all at once, yeah? Poor old Claire's down to her last twenty dollars. We haven't got much hope with this one either. <laughs> Keep going, you've got five picks. Ten times! Yeah. Spectacular! Yeah, ten times nothing. Ten times nothing equals nothing, Claire. It's on max bet, which is only actually a dollar twenty-five, but here we go. We need a bit of luck here to be fair, because we're doing absolutely terrible at the minute. So uh, let's go with oh, oh you can't find button. That's it. I must have had too many beers. Alright, come on. We need to fill all those fusion wheels up. The top one's already lit, but you need the fusion symbols to shoot up like that to fill up the rest of the arrows. There's another one. That's it. Halfway to two. Come on, let's have another. Okay, one more when we've filled up two hours. Right, we've only got three spins left, so we haven't even got two hours on go yet. So, oh dear, it's not looking good. Alright, so we filled two hours up at least. <laughs> We just got us two hours to spin. Let's see what happens. Eight dollars. Absolutely. Yeah, well, eight fifty. Not brilliant. Probably sums up his day, really. <laughs> Anyway, at least I got the bonus. I'm looking for this game. 9.20. Too busy looking at Midway up there to notice that... A bit bonus on Wild Fusion again. So here we go. I'm hoping it's a little bit better than the last one. Same again, eight spins. We need to fill up the arrows. That's a nice line, it's straight away. $48 hit, very good, I've actually doubled my money because I hit a few good line it's but I put 50 in, so I'm up to 118, so not doing bad, right we need some of those now, so we need to get the wheel uh, arrows filled up as usual, Right, we need two more for the second dammer. That's not a bad one again. That's a jaw, just a three dollar it. Oh, up to 51. That's two more, that's the second dammer full. Yes, and a re-trigger, eight three more games. Not looking bad this one actually. So we've filled up the second arrow. We're going to start on third. And we've got eight three more games. And we're currently standing at 51. Two more for the third arrow. Four dollar hit. Five dollar hit, that takes us up to 50, well 60, 60, yeah. Okay, we need one more to fill up the third arrow. And we've only got how many games? Three games to go. 
We needed this. <laughs> we were looking pretty dreadful before we got on here, to be fair. Yeah, we've got the third arrow. So that's three arrows full for the wheel. And we've got one more spin. Let's have a re-trigger. Yes, let's have a re-trigger indeed. No. <laughs> Not enough for the four. So we'll take three. Spin it. Let's go. Come on, let's see what we've got. Not a lot. <laughs> Seven, yeah. Oh well. Not too bad though. Seventy-two dollars. So fifty dollars in. Two hundred and forty-two. So yesterday, it was great to get back downtown. First time in daytime actually. We usually just go, like I said, up Fremont Street on an evening. So yeah, we started up at um, Main Street Station. Nice little brewery in there. Elko. As soon as we had something to eat, that's when it started going down. So everywhere we visited from there on the D, we went to Queens, we went to Nugget, finished off in Plaza and we lost in all of those. Uh, Claire again, she, poor lass, she couldn't win a bean. Anyway, so we moved on from there. Uh, we went down to Circus and it didn't really get much better to be fair. I had a few good bonuses on the uh, Blazing Inferno game. And other than that, it all ended up going back in I'm afraid and we ended up both uh, done by about 11 o'clock last night, both 300 down. 600 between us, it was a pretty bad night to be quite honest with you, but you know, I bring the money to lose. Uh, how we do, I mean, we're only low rollers, as you can see. I, I don't play max bet, I don't do high limit. Um, but we basically have about 300 each per day. When it's gone, it's gone, and that 300's there to lose. So, any more than that, it's a bonus. So, on the day if we're up, that's a little bit of spare money for something else. Um, Claire, she's Probably going to go shopping, she's got a little bit of spare money left from her, her big wins the other day. Going to have a walk down the strip, probably down to MGM. Um, there's a big fight in town this weekend, the Canelo boxing match. Um, I'm not a big boxing fan, but I'm going to head down there anyway, because sometimes they have things happening down at MGM, down at T-Mobile Arena. Again, if I get time, I'll, I might pop up to uh, T-Mobile, because we've been day before, they'll, they'll probably be doing weigh-ins and interviews and what have you today, so there might be a bit of a fan base hanging about and we'll see how that goes. Um, Claire's itching to get in coach. She usually buys herself some on coach wherever we go to be honest with you. Bad day yesterday but still a lot of fun. It was great to get downtown. Uh, some of those old casinos, absolutely fantastic. It's like going back in time down there. It, obviously there's a few uh, characters about as you can see but that, that that's just free man um, it's getting a little bit like that on strip these days to be quite honest with you but uh, you're always going to get that in vegas it's quite entertaining to a certain extent you know but yeah uh down strip today see what happens oh see you in a bit